Hey, what's up guys? Phil here, and this is a review for the Lead Edge 4K Action Camera. You will receive the action camera in a waterproof housing, an extra battery, a spare waterproof housing door, micro USB charging cable, a selfie stick monopod, a variety of clamps, mounts, sticky pads, straps, and accessories for camera mounting, and an instruction manual. The camera and all its accessories fit into the semi-rigid hard clamshell case that it comes in. There's a plastic film protector on the front of the waterproof case that needs to be removed. Then to take the camera out, pull upward on the front of the black tab on the top, then lift it off the latch and fold the door down. On the front of the camera, remove the film on the 170 degree wide angle lens. To the left of the lens is the power mode button. On the left hand side, you've got the micro USB charging port, micro HDMI output port, and the micro SD card slot, which accepts up to 64 gigabyte cards. However, one is not included. On the opposite side are the menu up and down keys and external speaker. The up button doubles as the Wi-Fi key for connecting to the smartphone app. On the back is a 2 inch diagonal LCD screen, and on the bottom is the battery bay. On a full charge, this camera runs with the LCD on for about an hour of recording time. After turning on the camera, you can change modes or enter the settings by short pressing the power button. Here's a sample of the video footage at 4K and 30 frames per second. The quality of the video is decent. It's got HD resolution, though fast motion tends to be blurry and somewhat choppy. The white balance and color control isn't always perfect, especially in bright or dark conditions, and it does take a while for the auto white balance to kick in. The anti-shake feature removes some of the shakiness caused by handheld filming, but not all of it. The audio when inside the waterproof housing is pretty much entirely muted. Outside of the case though, the mic seems to work fine. Okay, now I have it out of the waterproof housing at the same distance, arm's length, about one and a half to two feet away from my face and I am speaking at a normal volume. One feature on this camera that I really liked is the slow motion mode. Even though they claim that it's 120 frames per second, but when I checked it, it actually ended up only being 90 frames per second. If you download the NTK Cam app, you can use your smartphone as a remote screen for the camera over Wi-Fi. This action cam is pretty inexpensive, so what you get is not on the same level as the video quality that you might expect from a $400 GoPro. I gather that the video compression codec has a lot to do with that. Although the resolution of the video is 4K, the footage isn't always super smooth or crisp, but at least you get a nice wide field of view and decent clarity and color reproduction. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.